right, we're doing the razor relocate. So what we're gonna do is remove the radiator, remove your fan assembly, and then some models vary, but the fuse box was located right here on this frame section. And you'd have to grind it off or saws all, um, polish the frame up, get any excessive metal um, off with a flapper wheel or something equivalent. You're going to hit the frame with a little bit of black spray paint or bed liner. You're going to relocate the fuse box against the firewall. We'll pick you back up in a minute. All right, you're going to lay your radiator face down. Lay the provided bracket up and then your fan. put your stock hardware back in. All right, so this kit comes with an aftermarket hood. So you can either trim where the old existing hood rides on the plastic, or you can loosen all your gauge. You can loosen all these plastics up where they flex and you can squeeze the kit in by moving the plastics or you could trim it for easy installation. All right. Like I said, we're gonna drop it in right here, like this. And then these slots right here are gonna go underneath that. These screws, you're gonna tighten them down, but leave them loose for right this minute. Right. where this can still slide and move. We want this tab on this radiator frame to be on the inside of the plastic. So just move that to the other side. Get on there. Like that. Good. Yeah. Have that comes off the radiator frame, the hole that's in it, you're now gonna pop the hole through the plastic. Both sides. The Two bolts in, you can come back to the top and tighten up your torxes. Now we're gonna hook the fan back up and hook hoses. All right, you're gonna use the hoses provided to reroute new hoses. The existing overflow line to the rad cap to the bottom of the overflow tank was long enough to reuse, and now we're going to fill with coolant. 